You are standing in a hospital room. The walls are white. A figure stands before you. His words are coming, but they never seem to reach you. You were an exception, he says. Your trial of chemo is no longer available, he says. The insurance won't cover it, he says. Hands clutch a clipboard. Your palms feel on fire. The blood surging inside you, pulsing. The swell of despair, staggering, yet intensely focused. I can pay, whatever it costs, you tell him. I'm sorry, he says. You don't blink. He bids you goodbye. A door slammed in your face. Your eyes shut. A wise man once said, do not pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. I've been pummeled with torrents of fear and uncertainty, an unyielding despair. Here I am, stiff lip and hardened jaw, having lost control, staring death in the eye and asking the question, what's my life worth? I've been conditioned to listen to my doctors, take the medication, endure the chemo. In my heart of hearts, I knew it was futile. I felt toxic. The medication was patching a hole, not fixing it. My lupus fell heavier than ever now. Home. Small hands encumbered in tears. For three days, your vision is blurred, your hands hurt, your lungs burn. And through this fog of desperation, you move onward. Uncertain, but determined. Hoping the cliff at the end of the fog is just in your head. Enough was enough. This is my life. I decide what it's worth. Lupus wasn't going to change. The hospitals were at a stalemate. I will grasp the entirety of my life and rise. If the medical institutions can't fix me, then I'll do it myself. You hold the phone, your hands still burn. It's your sister again. She talks, you listen, your lungs still burn. You remember your mother and the cancer. You saw her wither away. You don't want to die. In fact, you refuse to die. Your tears recede and you nod as though to appropriate each phrase, weighing each syllable, each diphthong, each massively poignant breath. Is it possible that returning to the hospital might actually kill you? And then she reminds you, change your lifestyle, change your nutrition. You stand up, you are motivated, you will live. A map to a new lifestyle, a new chapter, the key to those locked doors. Lupus was a symptom of an unhealthy life. New biology became the guide to healing myself. Alkaline water, green foods, raw vegetables, the removal of toxins, alcohol, nicotine, sugar, caffeine, meat, processed foods. I adopted this to keep my pH levels balanced. I opened myself up, peered inside, and accepted what I saw. I readied myself for this journey. For over 
a decade, I dealt with the seemingly insurmountable. Wheelchair bound, days before my wedding. Dependent on the hands of my family to bathe me, clothe me, feed me. Arduous trips to hospitals, experimental treatments, and in the midst of it all, losing my mother. I recognize hopelessness. Adversity does not build character. Adversity reveals it. Hope is never lost, just misplaced. My hope was drowning in the torrential river of conventional medicine. Never again. I exercised, I took supplements, I rested, I listened, I learned, day in, day out. I began to feel better, and then, a terrible fever. Am I ever going to be healthy? A rush of memories wash over me. Mood swings, hospitals, chemo, depression, waiting rooms, paranoia, that goddamn wheelchair. Death isn't defeat, but allowing a hospital to let me die would be. I stayed through this last episode because if I'm going to die, I would do so fighting. The first step to overcoming. I took a retreat at a chance to cleanse and detox. I wasn't alone. Everyone there was dealing with adversity. Autoimmune disease, cancer, Alzheimer's. These people with golden hearts and strange histories. These people from faraway places. I watched them heal before my own eyes, writing their lives inch by inch. I'd never have to visit another hospital again. Here was proof that I was taking my life back. Doctors don't practice nutrition. They practice medicine. I am through with medicine. Trust yourself, embrace yourself, accept yourself. New biology gave me an opportunity to own my life again. Holding it with hands that no longer burn. Hands that support me. Hands that guide me. My skin began to clear up. My joints felt less sore. I could barely remember when they didn't hurt. My body wasn't so heavy. The program is working. The task seems daunting. The sacrifice is overwhelming. But survival isn't negotiable. Survival is not reprieve from obstacles or pain. It is the vindication of battling through your darkest hours. And I promise, There is an embrace of light ahead. Over the last decade, I've never been one to get too excited over good news. But this felt different. Every day, slowly but surely, my once uncontrollable lupus was now becoming taciturn. Today, 
The excitement of life is far greater than I could have ever imagined. I'm invested in my life, each day, each moment. Open and present for everything. Every meal with my husband, every walk with my dog, every family reunion is a surplus of love they've given me that I may never be able to repay. Living as well as I can, loving as well as I can, treating all good things in my life earnestly and respectfully. I can even hope to breathe new life one day. The overwhelming beauty of it all suddenly feels less impossible. Fear not the difficult life. Instead, seize the opportunity to endure it.